fan, but I uh, I won't be uh, won't be watching the doctor flouncing around Abbey Road. Oh, I saw they had a new thing out. Where is it? Where is it? Uh, hang on, I'll do. Let's look at BBC Doctor Who. BBC Doctor Who is a thing promoting. Uh, um, where are we go? Uh, promoting the Beatles episode. Like, yeah, and, and honestly. <laughs> It's freaking everything that's that that highlighting everything wrong with this era. I don't know, maybe in that it's shit. Look at this. I'm sorry, mate. This is shit. This is this looks nothing like with okay. These look nothing like the Beatles. They have I, I who's supposed to be why is Mickey Dolan's part of the Beatles? Right? It's done so badly. And you know, they could have done it so much better. Here, what's the let's look at the is it please please me please me album cover no beatles album cover is with the beatles maybe with the beatles oh yeah so this is the one they're trying to riff on hang on and just doing it so badly i mean like this is really weak photoshop all right and th that's really quite an uh, iconic image but here, one second. Beatle album cover. Beatles album covers. Where's the one? Uh, not help. Well, the help would have been better there. They, this would have been be better using this one. Right. And again, e uh, equally I iconic. But man, it's just like it. It. it what is? Oh, man. Ah, uh, here's the one I was looking for. A Hard Day's Night. Beatles Hard Day's Night album cover. Hard Day's Night album cover. Doink. Large. Man, it's, it's, it's tragic, really, because my dad has this huge, huge vinyl collection. Like, the massive vinyl collection that just, like, rotted away in, in the shed because nobody could. It's dead technology. Right, this is uh, like this is the uh, 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 a much better album cover they they could have got got away with, right? You could have done um, like the doc. You could have like had uh, you could have had, I don't know uh, was it three is five? You could have six by four, right, and or seven by four with Doctor uh, the Doctor and Millie, or maybe one of them being the Doctor, one of them being Millie. But again, let's go back to this. What, who is it? like that's supposed to be John Lennon, is it? And Mickey Dolan's apparently for some reason. And who's this fat cunt? I, I like what the hell? Who is he supposed to be? I guess that's Ringo, right? I guess that's Ringo. And again, these picked, yeah, well, here's one of the reasons I'm fucked off with this, right? It's because, um. These pictures are clearly color pictures that have been de uh, uh, the color. They don't have the that that black and white feel to it. But we had in the chat just now somebody saying, "I, I a few people saying they think Doctor Who will be cancelled in 2025." I think that's highly likely, right? I think that's that's not certain, but even, look, it could come out and it could be a great success and everybody love it, right? And we hate it, right? It could be great, right? I'm not gonna prejudge anything until. Yeah, uh, uh, I'm not going to like conclusively prejudge anything until I've seen it, right? And that that's just where I am, right? And I, I, I don't mind being wrong. I'd rather be wrong and optimistic and, and uh, uh, you know view things on their own merits, which I think is the decent and right thing to do, than to be right. <laughs> to be to be right and um, uh, you know and and. and it, it, if, it, like, if I say, oh, it's going to be shit, which almost certainly it will be, right? It almost certainly will be. Rusty Davis cannot stop doubling down. You're absolutely right. Monk and Magnesia is here. How you doing, Monk, uh, Monk and Magnesia? Uh, um, uh, Matthew Conte says something that's very accurate. I'm sick of doing mental gymnastics to stay optimistic about this production. Exactly. exactly. And we want to be optimistic. That's the thing that really annoys me. We want to be optimistic, right? We want to be optimistic. Uh, uh, and it's just... They're making it impossible. Uh, Shooting Gut was making it very, very, very hard, I think, for most people to be optimistic about this new era. He's given four. 
insanely bad interviews in the space of four days, right? It, it's been it, it's been an absolute dis uh, uh, disaster, right? An absolute disaster. Now, add on to that the heavy promotion of transgenderism towards children, which we now know scientifically is evil. Right? We now know scientifically it's a bad thing. So being cancelled in 2025, I, I, yeah, look, Disney Plus is not doing great, right? They, it's not like they're, everything's going great. for. I, they're going to be faced. Uh, uh, the, the Disney board has survived um, two challenges this year by lying and cheating, essentially. But they're going to be chase, uh, uh, facing 30 challenges next year because everything they've done has failed. And, and let's say you had like, Five million dollars of Disney stock. You now have three million. You've, you've already lost a million dollars, right? And that's a lot of money, right? That is a lot of money for people with a lot of money. And people with a lot of money don't like losing a lot of money. And people with a lot of money tend to have a lot of power. So uh, I, yeah, I can't see it getting. Uh, I can see it very easily being uh, uh, greeted with disdain by the British public. Off they see what it is, right? Uh, uh, yeah, being greeted with little interest by the British public. Off they see what it is, and uh, uh, and then disdain by the time they get to the end of it, right? I, I could totally see that going down, right? I could totally see see, uh, see that going down. So what? What? You know, what would be? What? How on earth could you possibly fix up doing? I've been talking about this off and on, you know, for for a bit. And look, I am never ever. Uh, um, going to be given the reins of Doctor Who because I have no history in television production whatsoever, right? Uh, um, uh, here, this, this is a very uh, uh, very accurate uh, uh, statement by a third Doctor. Gower has come across as heterophobic, uh, homophobic, far-left racist. Yes, he is coming across as a racist. I agree with you completely, right? I complete, uh, uh, agree with you completely. So anyway, I... I <laughs> I was just like mapping out in my head yesterday afternoon when I when I finally got to sit down for five minutes, what I would do, right? Uh, and yeah, I've, I've spoken about this as well, but I came up with some great details, right? Some great details. The uh, uh, firstly, I would have the new season start, new series start, and it would be, appear to be a complete reboot. Duh! The Doctor wakes up, doesn't know where he is. He looks around the situation, saves the day, does Doctorish stuff, uh, uh, maybe meets his companion then, and then. As the episode uh, 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 unfolds, you know you find out the doctor's uh, amnesiac. He doesn't know who he is. He doesn't. He knows he's a doctor, but he doesn't know what his name is. For example, he doesn't know about Gallifrey. He knows how to fight the TARDIS. He kind of recognizes Daleks, Cybermen, uh, but you know everything's somewhat muted and disconnected, right? And I think you could do a lot of good stories like that, right? And, and I would have a few hints. This is like a three-season arc. I would have a few hints uh, uh, confirming there was previous Doctor Who. Like a, he finds a, uh, a, a a carving in an ancient tomb of Patrick Troughton or something like that, you know, something along those lines. And uh, um, so so you build that up, right? You build that up for a number of years. As you build it, but mainly you focus on the Doctor and the Companion and building them up as people that you care about because that's the most important thing. Anyway, so the idea I had for the... Uh, uh, the denouement. Let's say three years in, uh, Doctor's leaving, and he finally gets answers, right? He gets uh, 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 directed to... He gets time-space coordinates, and he goes there. And it's uh, um, uh, post-Dalek invasion of Earth, right? Uh, uh, dur during the uh, re uh, recovery. And he's there, he's looking around, he's looking at, at, at the uh, society re rebuilding itself, and then a shadow comes over him, and you hear Susan, and I know this is a very fanish, but it will be awesome, right? You say Shadow come over and she, and you hear Susan voice saying "grandfather," right? Oh, and then uh, uh, you know you 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 get the um, uh, the explanation of of what's been go of what, what's going down. I would say the whole universe rebooted with Capaldi's uh, regeneration, which uh, and everything that happened post that has been in a bottle universe uh, and uh you know it, that's why everything nothing made sense and everything was was somewhat shit right uh, uh that i'll just reset everything and he's the first generation uh, uh and then you can build your own law which is what they need to do now mainly build their own law 
uh, uh, and build it unfettered from the old law, but uh, uh, at the same time respecting and connecting to it, like like it, it was good and it mattered, right? I, that's the only way to move forward in my mind, you know, as 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 we are right now. Anyway, anyway, uh, um, but things things hitting the fan has not been going well, right? It has not been going well. Uh, uh, Tan Hadley, uh, a frequent uh, uh, guest on the channel, uh, uh, has pointed this out, right? And uh, uh, boy, people are not happy because look. Dan is a very, very normative, stable voice, right? Uh, and Dan, I think, is one of the uh, um, more optimistic about the new era than me. I uh, mean, and I think he's a, very optimistic in terms of in person in general, right? And uh, wanting to be uh, gracious, I would say. Um, I, I, but I think he is a voice for. A, a large percentage of uh, of normie fans, right? I think he's very representative of normie fans. Uh, um, so uh, he posted, when was this? I think uh, two days ago. Oh, yesterday. Uh, I believed in him solidly since the start. Me too! Uh, Smug that I was. Excited by the prospect of the next two, uh, next one known. I agree with you. But in four days, this grinning, preening conad. <laughs> Has to pay them any chance, any real chance of success of the restart of Doctor Who, uh, which had a uh, had with the general audience. In one word, uh, in one boneheaded, uh, uh, in one boneheaded interview, uh, I think he did it in the several, wasn't it? So you see, people like freak out. You're not getting tenant back. No, no, you don't understand. He's shit. And like, like, like he, I mean, like, he might be shit in Doctor Who, but he's shit promoting Doctor Who. Uh, I think both uh, you and I both know Tenant will, uh, Tenant will be back. But what may, uh, what makes you think I personally want him back? That's an interesting question. What's the answer? <laughs> Are we going to hear it? How do I get to it? No, I don't want to. That's weird. How can I not see this? Uh, he's literally been. Show replies. He's literally been seen on set. I don't know what Rothwell means. Uh, I don't think he has. I, I haven't heard that. He hasn't. Uh, but he has, lol. But what again, what's this got to do with what Dan was saying, right? And that's what we're going to see a lot. He has... Uh, um, he's really screwed the pooch, right? He's really screwed the pooch. Uh, and just said a lot of dumb things. And we're seeing the same reaction between this... And this, right? People are in denial following the cast report. It's like D programming cult members. Boy, does that sound familiar, right? Does that sound familiar over here? Uh, has he? I doubt most of the general audience reads articles like this or cares. That's true. You're making a very good point. But uh, um, that he has these insane, preening, racist attitudes, like uh, uh, hateful attitudes. Is not is it, it? It's hard to bury that, right? Uh, one of the reasons he was cast was to appeal to the younger generation, many of whom uh, film the same way he does. Well, that's true, but how many of them are there? Uh, so that makes it okay. So let's say the younger generation, uh, uh, generally speaking, are all anti-Semitic fascists, right? Not all. M uh, have a have a higher proportion of anti-Semitic fascists. In the, in gener, uh, generation what the X or whatever they whatever the new one is generation Alpha, uh, um, yeah it's like it, it, there's a much higher percent so the, so Doctor Who should go full on anti Semitic and I'm waiting for the day that it does frankly I wouldn't be at all surprised uh, uh, so yeah look immoral values don't get better because they're uh, um, they're popular amongst the immoral. Right, they, they, it doesn't make them better, uh, um, so it makes it okay. Bloody hell, uh, I'm not suggesting millions of people read Attitude magazine, of course not. What I uh, what I'm noting is that on past experience, quotes like these those travel far, though uh, they'll make the uh, MSM, yeah, MSM, and then he's toast, uh, he'll be audience repellent. I, I think Dan's 100% right there. Most people can and should. Separate the art, the art from the artist. Well, I, we we have been trying to do that a lot, right? Uh, uh, I try to, and I'm successful most of the time. But it's not always that simple. It generally is not really, 
not when your artist is saying, uh, let's uh, uh, sexually mutilate children because, oh, we, it makes me feel so good and kind. Um, there's no, you know, and, yeah, stop with your intense sexuality or something. Uh, happy to correct this. Most people who have been indoctrinated to think the, uh, uh, think the same way he's done. Go, oh, yes, I agree with you there. Uh, different generations have different worldviews. Yes, you're right. The the uh, uh, the Chinese Cultural Revolution had a different view from their parents, and so they killed them all. Right? Go watch the three body problem. That, the beginning of that, I think, is pretty um, telling. Uh, did it, prior to 96, a lot of people thought race segregation was acceptable. Not in Britain. Uh, um, no Irish, no blacks, no dogs. That, no, that was in the South Carolina segregation. Uh, being disingenuous. No, the, the there was no legal separate. There was no legal se uh, segregation, right? Uh, um, so perpetual uh, uh, pre coach. Let me see if he's got uh, uh, in his, uh, 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 gender in his bios. Fine. Uh, yet again, you're missing the point of being disingenuous or just plain thick. Uh, 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 fine. But again, this general meltdown here, this is a great one. I read the interview. Seems fine to me. Not sure what the problem is. The problem is this fucking picture, you imbecile. This is like, hey, come fuck me picture. While he's wearing a dress. Uh, you know, in his gender, uh, gender uh, 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 challenging roles. Uh, uh, and, and I just used, uh, uh, just used the image to illustrate the post. Uh, earlier, Gatwa has been seen in several interviews in recent days. Um, I think he did say stupid stuff in the the, the EW interview as well. They should get they should get a uh, fan should get a hobby. Fuck you. Uh, have you okay? This one looks good. Have you examples of what he said? I've not seen anything floating around uh, that jumps out. It's a bit bad. Uh, <laughs> okay, congratulations, me the most passive aggressive reply I received on this. My word. Like like yeah. Look, Josh May, are you telling me really you haven't seen anything? Well, in that case, you don't. You're not interested in Doctor Who. Right, not it. Uh, it's not your, your bag, man. Um, oh, isn't Hugh New like total woke podcast? I have no idea. Uh, so you say, No, I wasn't being passive aggressive. Yes, you were. Uh, uh, I was just wondering what you were referring I was just wondering innocently, hmm, what could it be? Hmm. Oh, and Jones does that a lot as well. Uh, so you can give it, uh, uh so uh, referring to. So I could give it a read uh, because I've seen the EW one. I don't think it's passive aggressive to ask for some context. So Gat was given several interviews in recent days. The EW one was fine, puzzling in places, but uh, fine. Wait, what is the? Let me look at the EW one. Uh, was it? Do I have a link to it? No, okay, fine. Uh, his interviews on attitude, less so being wildly discussed here on other platforms. Uh, okay, I read the article. I don't understand at all why, uh, where any outrage could come from, uh, and nothing worthy of writing him off. Uh, um, working as an individual, if anything, he spoke confidently and clearly about what he believes and his own experiences. I, uh, I thought, let me guess, Josh Carr, you're 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 a younger person, aren't you? Right, my guess, you're you're a younger person. Uh, uh, of course, you don't. Writing him off as an individual, honestly. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry if I misunderstood you first week, calling him a grinning pin and going at it implied that you no longer believed him. Um, uh, so I assumed you weren't much of a fan of his anymore. Uh, listen, he is a grinning, uh, a preening gonad. But again, look at this, like, fighting, fighting against reality, right? Re no, no, he hasn't said anything bad, really. <laughs> he's torpedo Doctor Who. He's burned it to the fucking ground. Um, fine. They're, they're just on a, a, a tangent right now. Uh, 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 never existed. Pass the grass. Okay. Okay. Why you, okay. Dan, not, not that, not that I, uh, uh, would, would, would want to, uh, tell Dan what to do, but like, I don't know. I would just highlight fans should get get a hobby and gender pushing. Uh, uh, well, There's so much shit about me uh, white mediocrity. Uh, that's a little bit racist. I don't know. I would have thought there's plenty. There's plenty of material you you, you could go go through with that, right? Uh, what was it? 
Are you? Are you upset because he thinks the government are shit uh, and shouldn't go after trans people? Again, I don't agree they're going after trans people because that is correct. How? How are they going after trans people? Right? I, 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 how are trans people not going after biological women? How are trans people not going after Christians? How are trans people not going after children? I'm not talking about trans people. I'm talking about the trans lobby, right? Are you upset because uh, what he said about mediocrity and brilliance uh, for black and white crazy? Because he's right. Again, uh, um, that you think so doesn't mean that you are. Uh, uh, reinstated vo uh, VO actor, home studio. Home studio. Okay, that uh, tells you pretty much everything you need to know. Uh, but no, you know, notice how nobody has, uh, has uh, uh, pronouns in their bios anymore? That's really bizarre. There's absolutely nothing he said a decent, uh, considerate person would reject to. Uh, no, again, again, what do you mean about going after trans people? I think he's lying. Don't get me wrong. I hate, the, I hate Rish, uh, Rishi Sunak or whatever his name is. I can't stand him. I think he's a gonad too, right? Uh, um, <laughs> you know, and honestly, other than the uh, inherent anti-Semitism, I would say Labour can't be more of a shit show than the Tories. <coughs> but I could be right. But again, it's this relentless uh, um, denial, right? Right. It's this, like, like again, why do you think trans people are under attack? Are, are you the sort of person who thinks, uh, hey, where is it, that the CAS report is the government attacking trans people? No, trans people, the tra uh, trans lobby, I should say, are attacking children, right? They are attacking children. Oh, sorry, just let me say. One second, see how this fits in. Uh, doink. Is this anything I can? Uh, 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 <laughs> yeah, somebody else asked me, is it, you know, is this Howard from uh, uh, the Big Bang Theory looking at one of the Beatles? Man, it, if I haven't shown here, let's just look at that cover again. It, it's it's so shockingly bad of Doc Two magazine, right? It is so shockingly bad. Oh, hell, where am I? Doink. And again, I think very, very indicative of this new era, right? Oh, it's going to be the best as ever, and it's shit, right? And it's shit. Fine. So let, let, uh, I've seen there's been some promotion from Russell Lee Davis. Let's have a look what's going on. Look at Radio Times, maybe. Radio Times. Pierce Bronson and Helen Moon cast in uh, Rich Osmond's Thursday Murder Club movie. Okay. Uh, da -da -da, TV. Where is it? Into sci-fi. There you go. Doctor Who. What's this? Doctor Who filming pick teasers since they're over. I can't care less. Right? I couldn't care less. Revisit the Doctor Who saw Peter Cabal's epic covers. No. No. Uh, Rusty Davis was saying something recently. One second. Russell T. Davis. Let's see what... If not, I've got a bunch of news articles puts up. Uh, what's this one? Russell Davis. Show Russell Davis says uh, they don't talk about previous doctors on set. It's more ex well. I think it's probably a good idea. Frankly, this is the one. Uh, uh, all questions will be answered. I doubt that. So, Doctor Who showrunner teases most devastating season for night. Oh God. Okay. Oh, I wasn't showing the screen. What's that good? Ah, share screen. Russell Z. Davis, uh, Dr. Sean Ortiz's most devastating season finale. I am sick of this. Right? I'm sick. It's the biggest, bestest ever. I'm sorry. What? Like, 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 you didn't have to do this when it's a good story, right? You don't have to tell us it's fantastic. It's the bestest ever when you actually have something good, right? You just don't. Uh, it, it, it's like, oh, it's going to be so good. No. How about intriguing us with, like, great characters, great plots? You know, the things that you're known for, Russell. Right? No! It's the biggest ever, biggest ever. And again, Fly Highland here, uh, uh, very, very critical. He says, I find Shooty utterly insufferable. He is utterly insufferable. That's why there's there's this ongoing meltdown of it that we just highlighted. Uh, Dr. Sharon Russell, Sharon Russell Davis, teases fans that they're in for the biggest uh, Doctor's biggest, most devastating season finale yet. I mean, what? That is that they really will end the show. I mean, like, will it be 
more bigger and devastating than Survival, which I actually quite, I thought was a damn good episode. Uh, and again, it all looked so good, didn't it? It all, I mean, like the, the Hooniverse, uh, it all looked a bit plastic and corporate, but like having all the Doctor Who at your fingertips uh, worldwide, it all sounded so great. David Tennant coming back for a, a uh, what was it, a, um, uh, not practice run, for a uh, um, victory lap. That's what I was looking for. Right, it all seemed so good. Oh, and and, and again, the uh, the prophetic ones out there all knew, right? All knew completely that uh, uh, this was not going to work, right? I, I, yeah, and I tend to agree with them now. I do tend to agree with them. Fine, let's see what, what's going on. Uh, the coming season of Doctor Who has fans excited. Nope, for the Doctor's later agenda. Nope, they were. And then he started talking. Uh, Sharon Rossi Davis says audiences should also... Brace for the show's most so shocking season ender yet. Right? I'm sorry. The best cliffhanger ever, in my estimation, was... Um, oh, God. I'm so sick of him grinning at me. Fuck off. Was um, the one where David Dennett started to, to regenerate. Right? That's the best cliffhanger. That wasn't in the best season for Nard here. Let's have a quick look at that. Hang on. Let let, let me remind you of when, something, when, when things were good, right? Because it's very important to A-B this stuff, right? One second, Doctor Who. Uh, Tenth Doctor. Which one was it? It's um, Stolen Earth, right? It was the end of Stolen Earth, I believe, yeah. Where is it? Oh, yeah, it's the big crossover. I See, I immediately look at this, I go, oh, this is fantastic, right? Okay, firstly, I just want to stop this because, like, they had to have this little car here that, that would be able to uh, drive fast enough to get, get uh, catch up with David Tennant. I, I, I love him seeing Rose and running, right? This is, this is, yeah, what? This is why we love David Tennant as a doctor. <sighs> just in a second, you realize how great, you remember how great it was. Murray Gold's music, David Tennant's performance, uh, Do uh, uh, Catherine Taylor. This was always freaking awesome. And you know why it mattered? Because you love David Tennant's Doctor. Couldn't give a shit about this preening cunt they got on screen now. Oh, you don't like him because he's black. Oh, he's gay. No, I don't like him because he's a preening cunt, actually. Oh, I can't wait for you to meet my daughter with a penis. Yeah, this bit, he puts on, he goes on a real clip on this. I mean, again, this is one of the all time, this is not one of the best cliffhangers of Doctor Who. This is one of the best click cliffhangers in anything of all time. It's all going to be great, but come on, where, where, where's the bad news coming? There you go. Ah, oh, I love this. Exterminate. <sighs> okay, so I really so let me whip forward a little bit to the uh, uh, again the greatest cliffhanger ever. What do you mean? No, no, I came all this way. What do you mean? What happens next? Honestly, they should have regenerated him there. They should have regenerated him right there. Start it. <laughs> oh, Sarah Jane, I've got that. They got Sarah Jane in there as well. Be about to be zapped. <laughs> what a, I forgot how good this cliffhanger was. All human transport is forbidden. Oh, it's a random, I'm sorry. Daleks do not accept apologies. You will be exterminated. Exterminate. Exterminate. Okay, then we've got the torture. Uh, here we go. Greatest cliffhanger of all time. When he's dying, his, uh, his body, it, it repairs itself. It changes. But you can't. I'm sorry. It's too late. <laughs> I'm regenerating. Oh, wait, 
Uh, did, didn't it say to be continued? I, just, I got the wrong version of it. Never mind. I mean, again. So that was it. That was when we cared about Doctor Who, right? That's when we liked it. Um. So actor Judy got uh, uh, Turner as the fifteenth Doctor marks another milestone for the series. Okay. The next season will uh, intend to unravel the, the new Doctor's backstory, which is uh, similar in many ways to the companion Ruby's, played by Millie Gibson. Oh God! Uh, so he's trying to he's trying to make the Timeless Children kosher. All right, it's never going to work. Right, it's never going to work. Last year, Church and Ruby Road teased uh, what could be the season running thread. The both characters desire to discover their their origins. Even as they take on new and familiar adventures, I do. Yeah, Ross uh, Showrunner confirms that uh, as much in an interview with SFX. I got to cover that interview, saying their shared uh, uh, their shared sense of abandonment will drive the dynamic through season one. Was well, season one and two, wasn't it, Russell? Right. I I I, I am reasonably confident when we finally see it, the uh, rewriting is going to be very obvious. Right. Very. We like. Ah! Neither one a record player, obvious. Uh, that's the spine throughout the series. Uh, we saw on Christmas, Ruby was a foundling uh, left on the church on Ruby Road. David uh, David said, also the uh, Doctor's now a foundling, mysteriously abandoned in outer space, doesn't know his... Oh, fuck off with this! But it, uh, doesn't know his parents either, and there's a big connection between the two of them. It's a real uh, hum vibration between the two, and that really forges their relationship like no other doctor and companion up until when they fired her obviously uh uh the team before it's the best this ever oh it's so big fuck off russell and i mean that was it just fuck off with your fucking constant hype that never ever ever is realized your fucking constant hype is always like oh oh i'm trans it's so great to be trans you know what yeah we we saw the, the we saw the high point of uh, uh, David Tennant's Doctor. Now uh, now let's look at the low point, right? Let's look at the low point, shall we? Where is this? Uh, doink, uh, doink. It will be somewhere around here. Where is it? I, okay, and you it, 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 this uh, heavy-handed exposition. Where is it? What? You don't touch. But how? Closing down all psychedelic lightwave emanators and transferring excess power to the broken dome perfixilators. Mum, can you hear me? Mum. I don't give a shit about these people. I'm sorry. I think it's safe for you to come down now. I mean, I still have a dick. Don't get me wrong, Mum. I still have a dick, and that's totally normal. Yeah, I, no, we are not trying to destroy children's lives by by uh, 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 telling them that being transgender is something that's going to have be fantastic for you with no downside whatsoever. Here, let's cut your tits off, shall we? No, no one's saying that right anymore. Rose. <laughs> Too much power for one person, but you had a child. Again, this exposition is shit beyond shit. And the meta crisis passed down a shared inheritance. Binary, non-binary. Oh fuck off! It's so shit. I'm sorry. It is so shit. You know what it's like. You know what it's like. I'll tell you exactly what it's like. Hang on. Uh, it's like this. It is. It's that. It's this level shit, right? It's this level shit. It was always there. Oh, she was always the bestest ever. Oh, it was so awesome. Shining out of her. And she chose her own name. Oh, the shit. Shed was her memory of the TARDIS. Oh fuck off! I can't stand. I can't stand this exposition. It, 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 I, it honestly, this is this is going to crash and burn, right? This is. I believe this will crash and burn. Fine, where are we up to? 
Um, wait a minute. That being said, I still like the Church on Ruby Road. Uh, the three the story arts can make for an interesting, uh, um, the best companion that and hasn't, uh, and that hasn't finished. You're going to see that develop there. Uh, three the story arts could make, uh, make for an interesting turn in, in this as the season progresses. And again, got totally handbrake stopped by firing her. I, w- I, I really wish I knew what the deal was. Did they look for an excuse to get rid of her? You know, like Disney trying to get rid of Roseanne. Or, or what, did she fuck up royally? Right? I just think the that that thinking that she fucked up royally seems so unlikely. Maybe she just fucked up enough to give them an excuse. That that's it. That feels more likely to me. Uh, here's upcoming season. Uh, uh, he says upcoming season ending might leave audiences devastated. Well, listen. Uh, uh, so far, your the, the, the not the uh, premieres have le- left them devastated. Let's see the. Pre- the uh, ending's gonna hurt. Literally, it's the biggest finale ever. I don't give a fuck, right? I don't give a fuck. Uh, um, you know, a, a lot of the, you know, a lot of Doctor Who isn't about the biggest bestest ever, and that's the biggest bestest Doctor Who ever, right? Uh, uh, it's just uh, Face of Evil, it's a little car, little little planet, right? It wasn't, it wasn't the world changing. It was world changing for them, right? But it was. Um, wasn't the biggest ever. It was just good, right? Robots of death. Uh, uh, twelve people on the sand miner. Was it twelve? Oh, yeah, a bunch of people on the sand miner, right? Um, okay, it was just good. A- and uh, this is it. Uh, there's some shots that uh, are in the trailers coming up. Oh my god, you're going to die! Oh, Russell, when did you become such a fatuous? Uh, 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 I was going to say fatuous loser. No, but fatuous, uh, um, not fragile. What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, um, shallow. When did you become such a fa- uh, fatuous, shallow loser? Right. Fans of uh, about this event, uh, but there's a contention that tragedy awaits Ruby before season one ends. Well, what you mean that she was fired. The initial trailer for uh, season promised adventure for the pair uh, uh, and it may, may shoot you look very unlikable, quite frankly. Uh, but it might have been foreshadowed by Ruby's fate. When Carla asked the Doctor if she could keep uh, Ruby safe, I wouldn't trust a word coming out of this Doctor's mouth. Right? I'm sorry. The the the, the last Doctor I would trust their word was Capaldi. Jody, are you out of your fucking mind? Um... I just love the idea of there being a rebooted universe and the only person there that he would really know is uh, Susan, who he doesn't really know, who, who, who gives her the, uh, gives him the, like, she's like a uh, uh, guysman, gives him the, the direction to go. Uh, uh, given Ruby's temporary death uh, in the church on Ruby Road, audience can also hope to be spared from similar events. The uh, Davis have confirmed the theme of the upcoming season will lean heavily on fantasy and supernatural elements. There's teased in last year's sixth anniversary special. No, there was no what fantasy. Supernatural was the uh, the second one, and that was that was very sci- that's hard sci-fi, right? Millie Gibson was uh, cast of Anthony Doctor's new companion in November 22. She was later confirmed to have a two series arc. Oh, I love, I love the. Uh, um, The gaslighting, right? The 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 uh, um, yeah. There's a lot of gaslighting, right, going on. Uh, Two of is that alternates with the Doctor's second companion, uh, Verada see through. Yeah, no, no, you're lying, right? And, and you just say, oh no, all that stuff happened never, never really happened. Yeah, all that. Yeah, no, you're lying. A hundred percent, you are lying. I, I think that's the only way I really just go. You are lying. BBC. And, and you, it's always the same way. They didn't respond to uh, uh, Millie obviously being fired, right? Obviously. Any moron can tell she was fired. That's why the morons... Actually, not anymore. Uh, 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 anybody slightly more intelligent than moron can tell she was fired. That's why the morons are in such disbelief that she was actually fired. Yes, she was fired. Look at her social media posts. They were not a happy person going... Oh, I'm just going out out on the beach. Uh, 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 I'm just on vacation. 
right? I think she was, I, I, the vibe I got was that she was fucked over, right? I, and that definitely the vibe, I don't know if she was, but that's the vibe I got, that, that she was fucked over, right? And if she wasn't fucked over, why would you let me walk away with that vibe, right? Uh, 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 I, I think she was fucked over. Bottom line, I think she was fucked over. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. What's this? Shooter Gap, uh, uh, Shooter Gap confirms one story aspect will be tackled in the new era. God, what? Transgenderism, maybe? Uh, uh, cross-dressing? I don't know. Shooter Gap confirms that one important uh, story aspect of Doctor Who will be tackled in the new era, which hasn't been prominent in the past. <sighs> Brace yourself, darling. What we got here? Uh, Speaking with Attitude Magazine, uh, uh, Attitude Magazine, not Attitudes, even though they got all of them, Attitude Magazine, Gap will confirm that uh, one important subject of Doctor Who Season 14 is going is, to will, will tackle race. Oh, you fuck off. How are you going to do that without it being a cloying lecture? And, and, and what? Are you going to say, oh, thank you, Americans, for getting rid of slavery. Thank you for emancipation. Thank you for the uh, civil rights movement. Oh, Thank you. No, let's dwell on the shit that happened before them that was that they weren't alive for. Um, the actor explained how the first uh, long-term black doctor, you mean, you, you know, you can't say the first black doctor because Dr. Ruth came along and they were convinced that she's a doctor. Uh, in the series, uh, the subject will arise due to historical relevance. Uh, he also explained how Sean Russell Davis wanted to combine sci-fi with more human stories in this way. Again, Russell, what you're calling human is actually inhuman, right? I, I We need to reiterate this to you again, over and over again, right? It's the, the rationale you have been pushing, right? You have been pushing for years and years and years has been disgusting and immoral, right? You are 100% wrong. The science says, follow the science. Remember that? You hypocrite cunts, right? Remember that? The science says you were wrong. Transitioning children is not harmless. And there's no evidence to support it. It's, uh, it could be beneficial in any way. But, I mean, like, again, why do I want to hear Russell Davis lecture me about race? Freaking moron that he's been thus far, right? Every creative decision has been wrong. Why do I want to hear? Okay, if you can't make Doctor Who right, why do I want to hear your thoughts on the rights of man? Fuck's sake. Imbecile. Um, so okay. race does make appearance. It's quite different for the Doctor. He's not the, uh, it's not the first time. Joe Martin is the first Doctor that is black. Uh, well, no, not the first. She had thousands of them, apparently. She played the time-traveling future Doctor in 2020, but the first time Doctor been black for this long. So we have to address those elements of the character. Now, here's the thing. You're not going to address genuine racism, right? You're going to address your insane liberal worldview of racism, which was, uh, um, again, bizarre and, and deeply evil, right? Your view of racism is about preening yourself to make yourself feel like a good person, right? Because I'm not like the evil racist. <sighs> You know, you assign racism to everything. You make shit, uh, uh, and you're, you you make obnoxious shit, right? And I think that's a fair way to do it. You make obnoxious shit, and uh, uh, when people go, oh, that's obnoxious shit, you go, oh, you must be racist. No, you made obnoxious shit. Uh, shit. Oh, my goodness. Hopefully. Oh, we're back. We're back. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Uh, but it's first time I'm doing this song, and so we have to address those elements of the character now because Earth, unfortunately, is still uh, quite a fun little bit. Um, I disagree with you. If you're talking about the Western world, it's not racist at all, except against white people and straight people, right? Uh, so yeah, we will be addressing those things. Russell has such a uh, knack of being able to uh, bring in these elements of uh, humanity through the sci-fi lens is a really uh, in a really interesting way. Really? Uh, why, do why Doctor Who attack me and race is so important to see the full thing? But again, it's because you're a vacuous narcissist, right? Who can't see further than your own fucking ego. 
and, and that's why and you want your ego massage as a wonderful person. Uh, as Gatwin mentions, he isn't the first black doctor, black actor to play the doctor with Joe Martin Pierce. He's a doctor, not really. Uh, however, he is the first black actor who will be maintaining the core role for multiple seasons. Two. <laughs> at, at, at 16 episodes, let's be fair. 16, uh, we, uh, that will give him the same screen time as, okay, 16 hours. How much does Sylvester McCoy get? So he had, uh, um, was it, uh, 14 episodes a season. That's uh, so that's three and a half hours. Uh, three, six, nine. That's like, te- uh, okay, Sylvester McCoy still had less screen time than you. So there you go. You can feel good about yourself. Uh, so, so since he is making history as the first back doctor to start again, the only people who care about this really are are you know, mainly racist white people uh, who 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 want to make themselves feel like you know superior. Uh, it makes sense of racial attitudes in the past to be acknowledged uh, when his time traveling adventures begin. How about this? Why don't you go uh, uh, if you want to deal with like this scourge of? of, of uh, uh, slavery, for example, right? When you, when you go to Africa and see how black people uh, uh, sold black people in, in into slavery, right? Uh, uh, and then tell me it's all about race. How, they want to show how slavery was universal across the world, right? And it's, there's more slavery today with you clawing more on liberals than uh, there was in the time of American slavery, black slavery. Uh, coming to the term of to begin with. And, you know, you want to say that that uh, uh, racial attitudes of the past to be acknowledged. You're talking about 2012. You're not talking about 1950. You're talking about 2012. You know, uh, you, you guys are insane. Uh, well, it doesn't need to define the show or its character. No, uh, uh, Chicks with Dicks will. It's still an important historical piece that uh, can't be left out of the new season. Uh, we'll be tackling more social uh, societal issues. What, you mean more than Jodie Whittaker? Because that went down so well. How many? Let's have one second. Doctor Who episode guide. How many Jodie Whittaker episodes, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, dealt with social issues, right? Let's have a look. 13th Doctor, not really, but whatever. Uh, Woman of Earth Worth. Well, they talked about her being a woman. Yeah, that one. Ghost Monument. Uh, she was ignored as a woman. Rosa, social issues. Arachnids in the UK. Uh, Saronga Conundrum, was that that socialist or was it just boring? I think that one was just boring. Socialist was Dean of the Punjab. Kablam didn't really come together. Uh, which finder social issues? Uh, it takes you away social issues. And in the Battle of Ransko of Coloss. So nine out of ten episodes, right? Resolution social issues, right? Female dialect. Spyfall social issues. E of an upgrade. Ecky Thump. Uh, um, <clears throat> Spyfall 1, 2, Orphan Video, Social Issues, Nikolai Tesla's Night, Social Issues, Future of the Jews, Social Issue, Praxis, Social Issues, Can You Hear Me, Social Issues. I mean, really, Yaz it has a history of mental illness because she was bullied because she was a Muslim in Yorkshire. Really? Really? The Haunting of Villa Dildo, uh, Essential Assignment, I mean, these are all fucking social issues. Time issue on Social Issues, uh, Halloween Apocalypse. Let, you know what? Okay. You can see when, when they get to Flux, which was shit, let's be clear, no one's saying it wasn't shit, right? When they get to Flux, they cut out the social issues to a great extent, and, and honestly, the show, show improves. It can't improve that much because, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, Jodie, Whittaker's a, uh, Jodie Whittaker is a terrible actress and uh, Christian was a terrible writer. But, yeah, we do get uh, Thasmin. So social issues, social issues, Legend of the Sea, there social issues. Uh, so basically 90% of that last era was social issues, right? How'd that go? How'd that work out for you? Oh, this will be different because Rossi Davis is, is, is writing it, right? How'd that work? No, it's not going to work out well. It's going to work out exactly the same as it. Why would it work out any differently? I, I, I Honestly, like why would it work out any differently at all? It seems to me uh, uh, that it's, uh, you know, uh, a disaster waiting to happen, right? I, I mean, it really genuinely does. Here, do I have the ratings? Ah, I've got to download my chart. Ah, I hate the cloud. Here we go. Doink. Open with. So how did it work out? Long? Oh, that's how it worked out. Rusty Dale had the brain brought in to save Doctor Who. 
Uh, not so much, right? As it turned out, not so much. Uh, given the leading role of the castle doctor experiences, gut was doctor uh, goes through are uh, important for him and the series as a whole. Oh, did I miss something? I did miss something. One second. Uh, well, no doubt. That's why if uh, if he goes far enough uh, and to certain area locations on the planet, he'll no doubt be faced with the harsh racist mindsets uh, during which uh, during those times in history. Okay, again. Are you saying that black people weren't racist? That black people didn't uh, uh, capture and sell black people into into slavery? Are you saying that black people didn't have slaves? Right? Are you saying black people were not part of the slave trade? Uh, and then when I say part of it, I'm not mean the commodities, but the people buying and selling. Right? Um, so it seems to make any so, uh Well, it doesn't have to define so, so, uh, societal issues. Right. Uh, tackling the topic of race also opens the door to similar issues uh, ex- uh, of oppression to be explored. Oh, we're talking about uh, 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 trans people being being suppressed. I want to go have a shit in a girl's bathroom and win all the sports. Oh, no. I want children to cut their penises off. Yes. I don't feel oppressed if you don't say it's a good idea. Okay, then. Uh, if these topics are also addressed with a wider lens... Then Doctor Who season fourteen could be uh, going to have plenty of important social commentary centered through uh, centered throughout his run. This would make Gut was Doctor stand out well. Yeah, it's not going to mate. It's not going to work out well, right? It's not going to work out well. I'll go away. Uh, what else we got here? Doctor and Dick Turpin uh, for free comic book day. Uh, the last day ends the seventh Doctor. So, oh God, this is the second part of. Uh, um, uh, a really, a, 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 a really not very good big finish release, right? Oh, I should, I should have reviewed some Tarans versus uh, Rutan, so that was very good. Okay, let's hear Russell e. Davis bullshit us all, right? Russell e. Davis on those Millie gives them uh, leaving rumors, really. Again, this is pure gaslighting. I do not, uh, and I love the way people say Russell e. Davis said it wasn't true. <laughs> He's lying. With Millie uh, confirmed for both seasons, she always was, right? The, way, the moment she was fired, the story that went around was that she uh, will be appearing in a couple of episodes of season two uh, uh, to wrap up her story up, right? Nothing's changed, Russell. Nothing's changed. And, you, uh, and you're still a lying sack of shit, I, I would say, right? I, and yeah, that's how I describe you right now, a lying sack of shit. Uh, lying is is factual, sack of shit. That's just my own uh, uh, commentary on it. Uh, Russell Davis uh, addresses the previous rumors of the yes, previous rumors. Uh, if you've been following Doctor Who production uh, uh, production sh- uh, on showrun Russell Davis and serious star shooting Gatwa and Millie Gibson, the new season of Doctor Who and Disney Plus's uh, of BBC and Disney Plus Doctor Who Adventures, Doctor Who Adventures. That's what it should be called. Uh, then uh, then you know the rumblings about there. Bit Millie Gibson not staying. Uh, for Gatwa's first two seasons. Again, the story was she was fired and bought, uh, and retained for a couple of episodes in season two to wrap up her storyline because it was written so intrinsic to, to the, whole, the whole thing, right? Why was she fired? I don't know. A combination of quotes from Gibson in an interview set the, uh, set the show's uh, 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 leak showing Gatwa filming with new uh, companion uh, Varada Situ and the lack of official statement one way or other. Yes, that didn't help. If you had something honest to say, you would have said it, right? Um, only served to pour more gasoline on the dumpster vase around the speculation. Excuse me, bleeding cool. Aren't you the same people who said that Jodie was incredibly successful, right? Incredibly successful. And then uh, 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 went on to d- uh, dump, uh, dunk on her relentlessly when you realized what a massive fucking failure it had been. Aren't you those people? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Earlier in the month, all the speculation was uh, put to rest when Seether was officially announced before joining. It, yeah, it wasn't put to rest at all. I'm sorry. If you're a, if you're a moron who believes what authority tells you, it was put to rest. Uh, uh, oh, yes, you're morons who believe everything authority tells you. Yeah, authority would never lie. Oh, unless they're Tories, they're evil. Oh, fuck, these people are so... They have such a... Ridiculous, a ridiculous worldview. They really do. 
to be joined, uh, Gatron gives uh, uh, Gatron gives him two in second season. Technically true. Meaning it's hard to be uh, rolling with three instead of two now. No, I think there'll be one episode where, where, where they're both in it. Max two. I don't think there's going to be uh, more than two episodes where they're both in it. That gives it isn't going anywhere. Speaking with SFX Magazine, uh, Davis made it super official that Gibson wasn't leaving the show while uh, uh, explaining how the filming so far in advance continued, uh, contributed to the... Well, why do you say this like, when, uh, when you get it? Your ass had it to you. Do, again, the... Uh, uh, Millie Gibson looked genuinely upset and hurt in, in her Instagram post, right? Genuinely upset, uh, 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 upset and hurt. Uh, we have uh, film and film respond. Not leaving, not at all, Davis uh, says during the interview. Well, yes, she is. Uh, we uh, w- we were ordered for two years of a series of Disney, and we're delivering two years. I know. And Ruby Sandra is literally the story span so two years. I understand that. So you got yourself in a bit of a pickle when you fired her, right? We are planning to shoot uh, uh, the season two in which Ruby has... Uh, most magnificent scenes. Oh, most magnificent scenes. Not magni- Not not the most episodes, right? Emily, uh, it's some of most telling material yet, isn't it? It will make it will make sense uh, once you see it play out. Uh, as for the rumor that grew around uh, the matter, David says it's unfortunate, but also uh, but also explains why it's difficult to address every claim that's out there. Because you had nothing to fucking say. That's why, because you, you had to work things out with Gibson, obviously, right? I don't know what the internal work is. I just don't trust you. You may be completely on the line, right? You may be completely on the level. I do not trust you. Yeah. Uh, it's very unfortunate these things make the papers. Uh, we're in a very difficult position because you, you can't answer a rumor. You Yes, you could have that. You just did. Well, if you can't answer a rumor, why are you answering a rumor then? Okay. You can't speak to a rumor. Yeah, you, you just did. We can't even try and pin it down because the the internet just runs away uh, and will either misinterpret or decide the uh, that the Prince of the World has been replaced by uh, by four cats in a wig. Okay, so you cannot uh, uh, begin to answer this sort of stuff. Was Millie Gibson fired or not? She's in the second season. That wasn't a no, was it, Russell? That wasn't a no. How oh, glorious! She's in the second season. Uh, but will you see? Uh, but you you will see the love we have for Millie in the extraordinary stories that Ruby's about to go uh, go over in the next two years. I guarantee that. You guaranteed a lot of shit, Russell. You guaranteed a lot of shit. Very little has has panned out, right? Very very little has panned out. But again, I think I think it's just all collapsing. Right, I think I think all this stuff is just completely collapsing. My name's Vila Beck in the Rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. Yeah!